Hey, John, I went to the gym this morning and all of a sudden it's starting to be like dark. I mean, I've been having this wonderful summer, sometimes too hot, but it's getting dark again. What's going on here, John? Well, Art, it happens every year. It's called the Equinox. Well, actually, we haven't hit it yet. I think it's coming this Saturday on the 21st, maybe. The 22nd? Or the 22nd. Or 21st, 22nd, yeah. 22nd, yeah. Heard about and that. that's, when, a, that's when I have a cousin who always takes an egg and holds it up on end, and it's supposedly supposed to be equally balanced. Yeah, I've never else. done that, but I've, I'm, it supposedly works. Yeah. Um, so the equinox is interesting. I always love uh, both the solstice and the equinox um, because I notice the length of the days, just like you are. Uh, but an interesting thing, too, has happened to me, and that is that I noticed um, about, what, three days ago when our heat wave ended, mm -hmm. um, middle of September, all of a sudden, I think winter is here or fall is here. Mm -hmm. um, we got cool weather. It's over, been overcast for two or three days now. And I think that contributes to the fact that uh, you you woke up in the dark. <laughs> or almost and went to the gym. Oh, yeah. Also, it, it's been in the 60s as opposed to uh, during that, that heat wave that we just got through. I, yeah. Sometimes I would, I would leave for the gym in the morning and it would be in the mid to high 70s. And by the time I got out of the gym and I go early yeah. in the morning, it was already in the 80s. And yeah. so, yeah, it's a pretty dramatic change. But so anyway, so the, sol the equinox is when that's the like the day is equally long and short. And then after that, right. until the solstice that comes about 90 days later, it's going to get yeah. darker and darker. So I'm screwed no, for the uh, next 90, 90 days. 90 days, yeah, 90 days. Uh, anyway, the the equinox is, this is the autumnal equinox. Hmm. There's one in the oh, spring. Autumnal, autumnal you yeah, say. Autumnal equinox. And so this is where the days, are, days and nights are of equal length. Um, and I don't know, it's got something to do with the sun going around the earth or whatever that happens out there. And um, it's always interesting because it's kind of a, for me, it's a signal of not just technical signal of the change to autumn, but the physical. I feel I feel the the weather and everything else. So well, you're, I'm you're not probably surprised. not sensitive to, to, sensitive to do it anyway because you plant crops by different methodologies. So this is like a whole new season for you. Yeah. Oh yeah. Actually, it is. I, that's why I'm so familiar with it is I am going to be looking now for my winter garden. Um, I'm going to start looking at broccoli and cauliflower and um, the lettuce that didn't do very well is now starting to do better. Mm. I've still got some tomatoes that will, I think, perk up despite the cold. I can sometimes get tomatoes all the way into December. What about uh, uh, that broccolini that uh, uh, Linda and I love that you brought us a couple of years broccolini, ago? Broccolini, yes. I'm gonna. I'm looking for some broccolini to put in the ground. Yeah, nice. It's great stuff. So, uh, are you ready? I mean, because now it's fall, not technically until what Sunday or Saturday or Sunday. But are you ready for the fall? Are you ready for Halloween? Are you ready for Thanksgiving? All those things that lead up to uh, how about, the winter. How about ready to move the stupid clocks back or forward or something? Oh yeah, that too. Yeah, that, I, let's. It, you know what? Let's uh, let's maybe the next time that those change, let's do a rant on why they should do two things: they should eliminate a daylight savings time and they should eliminate pennies. I think we should make that into one conversation because they're both <laughs> worthy of elimination. My my yeah. opinion. Uh, well, that's what we can argue about. I like pennies myself. I know you do, John. So <laughs> I'll, I'll, you know what? I'll go get a couple of rolls of them for you. Okay, so you can have them and and then you can hoard them. But uh, I remember, I would remember when I was in Australia when they did away with the Australian penny, and they always yeah. rounded it down or up, and uh, it was nice because they were all gone. But I guess, uh, do they still sell uh, uh, penny gums in the uh, subways or am I dating myself? There's, there's nothing under 10 cents anywhere. <laughs> oh, that's, the, that's like the dollar stores. Okay, yeah. or a dollar fifty now, right? Yeah, right, dollar uh, stores uh, are now five dollar stores. Okay, so you're saying that, that O-Dark 30 is going to be even darker for me for a while. I think so. 
Okay. I think so. All right. So everybody right. out there, it's getting dark. Get over it. I'm getting over it. And uh, yeah. if you can't get, if Enjoy you can't it. get over it, write to us. Uh, but you know what? Even if you can get over it, if you haven't already subscribed to us, do that because it makes us feel good. So hit, hit the subscribe button. And you can like it. If you like this, you can like it. If you didn't like it, like it anyway. Lie to us. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.